What's up guys? The US stock market is up approximately 3% year to date. Now ask yourself this question. Is the US economy in a better condition today than it was at the beginning of the year? Well, fundamentals and common sense would say, of course not. Um, and for example, looking at the most recent job report, even though we beat expectations, experts are suggesting that our employment situation is actually much weaker than what the jobs report indicates and that's primarily due to the participation rate being lower than the 10-year average now why this matters is because consumer spending so how you and i go out into the marketplace and spend money is what primarily drives economic growth let's talk about the bond markets so bond activity is typically seen as a leading economic indicator which means how bonds behave today typically gives us a glimpse on what is to come in the future Year to date, US bond rates have dropped substantially. And in fact, real interest rates for US sovereign bonds are negative, which means your hard earned cash sitting in your ally savings account is actually losing purchasing power. What's up with gold? Gold is up over 30% year to date. Um, and why is that? Well, some would say it's because of the rise in the expected level of inflation, hence negative real rates. Others would say it's because of the dollar weakening against other currencies. Um, and some might even say it's because really bonds in general have zero yield, so investors are seeking a return. Uh, I would assume it's a little bit of both, plus the fact that gold is typically seen as a safe haven. So when the economy gets very volatile and uncertain, people move their money to gold as a safe investment. But the reality is nobody really knows. So what does that mean for you? Expect volatility and uncertainty in the near future. However, with uncertainty comes opportunity. Take a look, for example, at your portfolio, especially your workplace retirement account, which for most people is your largest asset, and see how your international funds have performed this year. If they're like mine, they've taken a beating. However, with now, since the prices are lower, their valuations are more attractive relative to the US markets and not to mention the COVID cases overseas have been going down. So now might be a good time to start loading up on some developed markets or emerging markets, seeing as though their prices are more favorable. President Trump's recent executive order extended the suspension of federal direct student loan payments through 2020. This is a great opportunity for those who can afford it to aggressively draw down the principal balance of their student loans. So come 2021, your interest payments will be made based off of a lower principal amount, and you should be able to save a lot of money in interest. And finally, guys, God loves a cheerful giver. The Bible says that he who waters will himself be watered, and that a cheerful giver will abound in every good work and lack in nothing. So guys, I highly encourage, even in this difficult season, continue to give and sow seeds. And look, if cash flow is tight or uncertain, there are always alternative methods of giving, such as giving appreciated stock. 